The U.S. Secretary of Energy spends his morning in Green Bay talking jobs with the future workforce and encouraging students to look for more careers in the growing energy industry. New at 5, Sarah Thompson talked with the secretary about his connection to tech schools and why he was drawn to visit NWTC. It uh, really took me home to a place where I grew up learning the trade of energy, learning the business of energy. Energy Secretary Dan Bruyette says he feels right at home as he tours NWTC's energy programs during the college's utility preview day. I started in one of these programs as a young kid right out of high school. It shaped his career and he's hoping to see the same thing happen with these students. Trade schools in America are key to this business. Current NWTC students are working one on one with high schoolers today to give them a taste of what they could be doing. They're answering questions and showing them what they learn in solar, gas utility and electrical power distribution classes. It's all about where careers in the energy field can take them. It's a great career to be in. There's plenty of jobs out there, good pay and just seems like something I'd like to do. And once you complete it, uh, you can work anywhere in the world. You know, you'll have the base knowledge to really go to any company at any level that they're doing and they just fit right in. After Dan Carlson retired from the Marine Corps, he turned to a career in solar energy. It took him to Puerto Rico, helping rebuild a fragile grid there. And now he's back at the college, helping encourage students to see the potential working in this booming industry. It's really in high demand, it's, it's really growing and exploding. Energy makes up roughly 8% of our gross domestic product here in America. But importantly, it makes up the first 8% because every other business depends upon it. So these guys have a very bright future when they leave this, this school. Sarah Thompson, Action 2 News, Green Bay.